This is Ben's RPGPile.com interpretation of Thunder Spire Labyrinth from D&D 40 Wizards of the Coast. So this is the map from the module and we're going to show you what we built to represent that using mostly Hearst Arts uh, molds which we cast and painted. This is the entire chamber mapped out. They're about a third of the way through. So we use Dwarven Forge to start, coming through the hallways, and then it opens up. First room, balcony. Guard room. Prison, Torque Shrine, Mess Hall, Secret Passage from the Mess Hall, Stress Behind the Statue, and Technically comes out of Cran's quarters. Some modifications that we made to the module is we put a double door in there just because there was no way the enemy wouldn't hear the group. So if there was only one door there, they would have been overwhelmed by. 30 plus monsters and would have been a total party kill. So, we added two doors and did perception checks and then put a pass down drunk guard in the middle just to try to keep the story intact. You notice that the pieces are on boards which one of the guys cut, Rob, cut the boards and then used PVC plastic pipe for the risers and then painted them. So what that allows me to do is as I draw the room I can essentially take all these pieces off on those boards and set them behind me and cover them up and then I already have the rooms built and I can slowly lay down the pieces as we go or as the party walks forward so it saves a ton of time this is a great example of putting them on the board. See the board there? Then I build that ahead of time and then I only lay the front of the room out until the group opens the door. And then I lay the pieces behind it as the line of sight allows. And we don't do it perfect, but the most one of the best parts is being able to not see what's coming and draw the map in essentially a 3D style so that's why we put them on boards because it was really difficult to remember what the to piece the room together during the game it would take a good 10 minutes 15 minutes so we decided to uh, put them on boards Rob's idea a great idea so that's a chamber of eyes people Brought to you by Ben's RPGPile.com and Gamers Inn, the place to play. Home of the $1 land, Mesa, Arizona. GamersInAZ.com. So there you go. Dwarven Forge pieces mixed in there. Her starts. Arena gear. Did some of the pre painting on the walls. Some of the walls I built using her starts. That's a good example. That wall with the algae kind of stuff on it. And then the, right there, that's a arena gear. The guys pre-paint it. They cast it, pre-paint it, and I'll sh uh, we bought them at Gen Con 2009, but they're awesome. Saved me a ton of time. They have a bunch of different pieces, too. Broken out pieces like that, bigger pieces. The diff most difficult part of the chamber was the uh, balcony. It was really hard to do a single walkway. 
and get the piece right and have the user maneuver around the door once they hit that walkway. So, spend as much time on that as we could and essentially settled on that. So, some of the in pieces from the Dwarven Forge Tavern in the ladders we made on our own. A uh, wood pile there is for a miniature building authority. So there's that little table with the food on it. There it is. So, and then those little uh, pieces there with the chains on them, I made those, cast the Herstart stone, glued two pieces together. Bought the chain at a craft store, cut it into pieces, spray painted it black, primed it black. Uh, dry brushed it with some silver and then uh, did the old uh, blood splatter fleck with the toothbrush in the gamers workshop paint and then we also made a piece 3d piece for the first time and that's the wolf's lair right there kind of built a half wall threw a skull on there did a bunch of blood spatter Buried some coins, as you can see. Put some fake grass, kind of hay around it. Give them a little nest kind of a thing. Threw a skull in the front for him to chew on. And then we can pick that piece up. I'll show you what that looks like. Like so. So you can kind of see the back up for you. So that's the wolf's lair there. I took a bunch of broken bit wall pieces, glued them all together, which was difficult to keep in the stick. Took some uh, um, little like miniature pre-painted pieces out of the bit box that gamers in, broke them up, glued them down. You can see a great one there, the skeleton's half body. I'll zoom in for you. There you go. Sorry about that. So see, and then threw some sand down there. Kind of a thing. There's the flock and the blood. Alright. There's some other pieces on here. I'm spacing on the names right now, but got that statue from another vendor. Kind of a thing. Fix those steps a little bit. So there it is. So I'm about to break it apart for uh, our next game session here, and then you guys can see what happens. So there it is. Certainly, if you have any questions, you can always go to bensrpgpile.com, post on our weekly blog, and if you're wondering where one of the pieces are from, we'll try to. Hell yeah. Pretty much the whole setup includes, and there must be a dozen plus vendors on here with stuff that we bought, painted, cast, stuff we made on our own. So, it's quite the list. And uh, this took about uh, six weeks to create, seven weeks, I think. Something like that. So, I still have some last minute game things to do for the group so I'm going to go ahead and get that going you can download our video podcast from uh, bensrpgpile.com or you can go right to iTunes search Dungeons and Dragons and uh, you'll be able to see how this all played out we do uh we upload one one hour session every Wednesday. So that's kinda it, y'all. There it is. Chamber of Eyes. Ben's RPGPod.com.